Top Chrome extensions that will help you become a better designer. These Chrome extensions will not only help you save time, but also get more work done. So let's go. Number one is dark mode. This is a Chrome extension that you can use to convert any website into dark mode theme by just clicking on the toolbar. You can turn it on or off. So this can help us get inspiration of dark mode from any website and how they're doing things. Secondly, this also helps us reduce the strain on our eyes, especially when we are working in the night. This has a feature of whitelisting some websites. So if you don't want some website to be converted to dark theme because they are not optimized for dark theme or just looks good on the light theme, then you can choose to whitelist them and they will not be converted to a dark theme. Some people have asked me how have I converted my theme on Figma to dark theme. Here is a tip for you that you can use. You can go to Figma home, go to your profile, click on theme and change it to dark mode. And this is going to make Figma more fun for you to work with. So as we have talked about changing the color, now let's talk about the second Chrome extension that is going to be side palette. So you go to some website, you like their color theme. Now you can either take screenshots, bring it, to your Figma file or sketch file or you can just go and inspect and see which all colors they are using. So there is a Chrome extension for you. It's side palette. You just click on it and it will extract all the colors for you. This is super helpful for whether you are designers, developers and you will be able to extract the colors from a website in form of palette and you can download it as well. So now you know how to get the color palette out of the website and use it for your product but you might like the fonts as well that brings us to the next chrome extension on the list it's called what font or you can also use font ninja you can use this extension to identify fonts you can save them and try them out as well you can type it your words and see how they look and this is the easiest way for you to figure out the fonts as well as the weights and like you know who actually created the font is it paid or free and things like that so that if it's free and like you know you want to use it in your next project you can the next extension on the list is window resizer this is the easiest way to test out your designs and layouts on different screen resolutions so you can test it on a mobile as well as desktop ipad and things like that so you can use their presets to test out as well as set up your own width of the screen to test out the design so it's a must for all the developers as well as the designers the next extension on the list is UX check. It's the easiest way for you to evaluate any website. It makes it super easy and quick as well. This extension is based on Nielsen's 10 heuristics. So you can open the extension, go to the element that does not comply with the heuristic, add your note to it and it will be saved on your system so that you can later share it with your team, share your thoughts and what can we do to fix that. This makes your heuristic evaluation process super simple and you can share it with the colleagues to actually get it fixed. The next Next extension on the list is Bootstrap Grid Overlay. So this helps you see the grids that the designer has chosen and the developers have developed it on. This gives you a decent understanding of how the columns work and how can you design better responsive designs. So it will help you set all the gutter spaces, the spacing, offsets and things like that. So it will give you better understanding of the responsive layouts so that you can replicate it in your projects as well. The next extension on the list is Bluesly. It brings all the design stories, inspiration as well as the trending designs in your new tab. So once you click like enable this Chrome extension and open a new tab, you will be able to see all sorts of stories and things like that and get inspired. Let us know in the comments that which platforms do you use to get design inspiration. Let's move on to the next one. The next extension on the list is color contrast checker. So many a times we feel that the elements are not in contrast. So this helps you check the contrast between the background and the foreground and you will be able to easily check it with WCAG standards, which is a highly renowned color contrast checker standard that we have. So it is going to be super helpful for you. The next extension on the list is SVG Grabber. When you go to a website and you have to use their logo in your designs or use the icons that they are using, it can be difficult if they are in SVG. So you can inspect it, go to the code, copy the code and, and like, you know, paste it in the notepad with SVG extension, then open it with Chrome. It's a very lengthy process. So what you can do is you can use this extension called SVG Grabber. So any website that is using SVG images as well as SVG icons, you can just click them in one click. So you will be able to preview it and then be able to download all the SVG icons for yourself. And this works for illustrations too, if I haven't said that yet. The next Chrome extension on the list is Save. So this is a Chrome extension that will help you gather all your inspiration in one place. So you can save from 
internet any website directly to save and it will gather all your inspiration in one place so no more saving it on instagram pinterest dribble behance and all these platforms you can just save it in save i've recently created a video on ui design inspiration and how to do it right because most people do it wrong they don't know how to take inspiration what things to consider and how to practice it if you want to learn that the video is linked right here the last extension on the list is loom Loom is a Chrome extension that can help you record your screen and it is super helpful for creating inspiration, creating a quick walkthrough where you walk people through it and tell the design rationale or to give feedback. If you're still watching the video, I know you are serious about becoming more efficient as a designer. So I have this video where I've shared about the Figma shortcuts and plugins that can help you become more productive so that you can save a lot of time on a weekly basis. So you should check that out as well. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, happy designing.